So Javante Davis stops Hugo Ruiz, I believe how you pronounce it, in the first round. Really, really, really not too much to say about this fight. This fight was really not interesting to me at all. Um, even when Abner Maris was the opponent, I just wasn't compelled really to watch this fight. But I watched it this morning. Davis, you know, Davis, his name suits him, Tank, because he is a bit like a tank. He's about five foot five, five foot six. He's really sturdy, but you can tell he's a big puncher. You can tell. And Hugo Ruiz was basically a featherweight in there. You know, he weighed 134 pounds on fight night. Davis was a little over 140. So there was about a seven pound weight difference between the two fighters. Seven, yeah, seven pound weight difference between the two fighters. It looked a little bit bigger than that, if I'm honest. Um, you know, I don't know when them weights were taken. But from the opening bell, Davis came out and was just, you know, he was throwing a few little jabs here and there, like going to the body, going to the head. Ruiz did he didn't want to throw punches by the looks of things. It looked like he felt the power of Davis early and just kind of put him in his place. And Davis at one stage was throwing some right hands right on top, like bang on the head of Ruiz. And he just didn't have any head movement. Got his nose bloodied up quite bad. And, you know, it was just target practice for Tank Davis really in this fight. Davis finished the fight towards the end of the first round. He threw a one-two followed by a left hook. And Ruiz took a knee. He got back up, but the referee asked him, do you want to continue? He asked him in Spanish as well. And Ruiz didn't say anything. He just stood there looking at Jack Reese and Jack Reese waved it off. So, yeah, first round knockout for um, Tank Davis. You know, it's his first fight in nearly a year. It was April last year, the last time he fought. And, you know, um, he didn't look too rusty in there. He did have winning gloves on, which I noticed. And he normally wears grants. So I was wondering, was there maybe some handish injuries there for um, Tank Davis? Because you don't really see fighters wear winning gloves unless they're Japanese fighters, unless they have hand injuries. So, that's a little thing I was wondering, was Davis carrying an injury into this fight? He's, I believe, said that he was hoping to get this fight out of the way early so he could fight as soon as possible because, you know, he was very inactive last year. Um, you know, one fight the whole of 2018 was not good. I know he's young, but still, he, he needs to be keeping active. And, yeah, that, that was really it. Like, that was all you can really say about this fight. There's not too much happen, not really too much to talk about. It was a first-round blowout. I expected Tank Davis to beat Abner Mares. When I heard it was this guy, Hugo Ruiz, I looked at his box rec, there was nothing really on it that made me think he'd have any chance against Tank Davis. And he didn't. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Uh, what would you like to see Tank Davis do next? I've heard, I've seen actually his unboxing scene that Floyd Mayweather was saying he wouldn't mind getting Tank Davis in there with um, Kamagaso. The guy, um, or what was his name? Kamagaso? Or, I forget the guy's name. He was the guy Floyd knocked out in the exhibition there on New Year's Eve. So, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't like to see that because that guy I don't think has ever boxed professionally. So if it's his first fight is for a world title, you know, that says it all. Um, will Tank Davis moved up? It will move up in uh, weight now because he missed weight originally at the first attempt. And that's not the first time he's done that. And he has come in heavy a few times. He came in 132 on the Mayweather McGregor undercard for his world title fight. So will he move up? Will he fight Lomachenko? That's what we want to know, because this that fight's been talked about now since 2017, since Tank fought Pedraza in 2017, two years ago. So, will he move up to lightweight? Will he fight Lomachenko? I'd like to see that fight. I think Lomachenko win that fight, but it'd be a very interesting fight. I think it'd be good. So, will that happen? The issue with that is, you have Floyd Mayweather and Bob Arum doing business. And, you know, they've been kind of salty over the years, so... We'll wait and see if that fight happens. But anyway, those are my thoughts on this. Leave yours down below. Like I said, it was a fight I kind of expected. I expect this kind of result. Maybe not so early, but I expected Tank Davis to win this fight, so I'm not really shocked. But uh, no, leave your thoughts down below. Who would you like to see me with next? And do you think he has a chance against Lomachenko if and when that fight happens? So let me know. Please leave a like on these videos. And again, thank you so much for the support. And I'll talk to you after.